Okay, we are back with some more Starfield. Uh, we can't really do... Where's this one at? Episode Strikers, local gain, hold up at... Madam Savage's place. Let's do this. Let's do this super fan. Let's see how this one is. I'm curious. Spaceport. Let's see how good or bad this one is. Or should I say... I don't know. Alright, I want to... I'm not targeting the citizen game, I'm targeting my ship. Good lord. Thank you. Alright, so we need to do this. Time to join the stars. Hey, Dad. Will you read to me tonight before bed? Read to you, sure. I'd like that very much. You haven't asked me to do that. Hmm. Mm, looks peaceful from up here, doesn't it? And... Will you do funny voices for the characters? Like... Alright, so where are we going? You know what? We've not been here yet. Let's go here. Or have we been here? I don't know. Whatever, we're going here. Galex Green, ready to land. Just try and stop me. Let's see what's here. Hydrogen. Hydrogen. It's all here. This is apparently a civilian outpost. Uh I don't really see any outpost here though. <laughs> I'm not targeting her. <laughs> She's nowhere near my reticule. Oh, it's over here. Okay, I see now. Uh okay. Level ones. Oh no. Toxin metabolic agent. <laughs> They're just sitting there. Argon vent, okay. E. Where's this shelter at? What is that? Apex parrot hawk. Is that it right there? Oh my god, it is. What the hell? Dude, the gunsway is, is. Oh my lord, dude, the gunsway. Am I even hitting it? Oh, what the hell are you, dude? 
<laughs> A oh did it just die out of nowhere? Make sure you strip everything. What's killing these? I find it pretty weird how you have to shoot the... What are you perched on? <laughs> I just got a new perk finished. Nice. I mean, I guess we could use this instead. Might as well. Screw it. <laughs> Ice deposit. Lead deposit. Really? Ice deposits? That's different. Civilian outpost. Huh. Is there any quests here? Explorer too, but then I... No. Never mind. It's a long story. They almost did it. Oh, come on, devs. Skipping all this equipment <coughs> is tiring work. I used to be an adventurer like you, but then I took a bullet to the knee. If you need anything, let me. If you want to join us, you're out of luck. We're at full capacity right now. My wife and I founded this outpost years ago. Mast sent us here to set up an observatory. Back then, it was just the two of us, with nothing to do but talk and stargaze. <laughs> it was almost inevitable that we fell in love. We returned to New Atlantis when our expedition ended. But we weren't happy there. We decided to get List's help setting this place up instead. And the rest is history. Sure, there's a mission board inside. People post up jobs there all the time. Oh. Thanks for asking. Most folks who come through just want to shoot at us. Okay, thanks. Water pack and sealant. One day, I'll leave this place and... Find the planet of my So there's a mission board, huh? Interesting. Let's go check it out, shall we? You're free to use our equipment. Just leave it in working order, okay? A locker. You don't get views like this in the big city. Bitten sandwich. <laughs> oh, I kind of want that. I kind of want that. Come on now. I never think about my old life unless... This is a cute little place. I mean, I'm not complaining at all, honestly. Like, So this is what an outpost could look like. I mean... Keeping this place running is no easy feat. Let's see what jobs they have. I used to work for the Eugene Industries. Boy, I to your way. Mission board. Mission board. I don't see a mission board. Hey, what? I have to raise my kids in a place like this. 
I don't see a missing board. This is over there. Let's see what kind of missions they have if we can find the mission board. I had a lot more friends to play with in Sidonia. I don't see one here either. I'm proud of what we've built here. Not everyone. Has Is there one over here then? Is this the missing board? No, it's not. I don't see missing board at all. <laughs> Where is this missing board do you speak of? Oh my lord, dude. <gasps> Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Um, yes. <laughs> I haven't done this in a while. Oh, boy. <laughs> well, that one obviously goes there. And then this one. Um, I'm going to say this one. And then this one. This one was too easy. <laughs> oh my god, dude. And there's a lot of them. Oh my god, dude. Oh, damn, boy. <laughs> we're getting out of here. Oh, we're getting out of here. If it's all the same to you. Oh, we're getting out. They got contraband. I know where to go to sell that. I think. <clears throat> Damn. <laughs> Oh, what is that up there? <laughs> Unknown. <laughs> Occupied cave. Unknown. Unknown. Well, I mean, I... <laughs> I mean, let's just go there. Why not? It's an occupied cave. An Occupado Cave. Why not? I'm gonna go back to um, that one area and turn in that iron to them, don't we? Yeah, we kind of do. Oh. Well. Hmm. 
<laughs> Let's go see what's in this cave. Because it is Occupado. Oh, yeah, no, it's definitely occupied. <laughs> it is definitely Occupado. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's definitely occupied. <laughs> I want to do the old Skyrim trick here. <laughs> if I die, I die. I don't give a crap on a cracker. There's no one here. Well, then. There's something I need to talk to you about. Oh, like what? So, I've given everything we've discussed a lot of thought, and I've decided I'd like Aja Mamasa to conduct our marriage ceremony. What? You can get married in this? What? No way. I understand. So, with that settled, I suppose we just keep it a quiet ceremony? Just the two of us? Can we have children too? If anyone else had suggested that, I'd say no. But hearing it from you, I know in my heart that it's the right thing to do. Can we I'll have... send her an invite and we'll see if she shows. Anyone else? Or will the three of us with Aja presiding be enough? Honestly, no. I respect everyone at Constellation. But this is part of my personal life. If it's all the same to you, I'd like to keep uh -oh, my, my power flickering separate from constellation. I didn't hear no thunder though. <laughs> well, I guess I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut in the video here then. <laughs> Bye. After I um do this part, because um my lights are flickering, so um yeah. Oh, that's sweet of you to suggest, but I think bringing Sona all the way to Arja's home would be too much anxiety for the poor girl. We need to give her some time. All right, it's settled then. I'll send a message to Arja asking for her to preside over the ceremony. As soon as you're ready, let's head to Paradiso. <laughs> I can't tell you how much this means to me. I love you. Is now undismissible until we complete that. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put an early cut here because my power is flickering and I don't like that. I normally do one hour videos, but um. Yeah. Is it supposed to rain? Hold on, let me. Check the weather real quick on my phone. I would check it on my computer, but. And I know it's not the bulbs burning out either because I just changed the bulb like two weeks ago. Actually a month ago. So I know it's not that. Where is the radar? It was supposed to rain today. I'm gonna do this right now. Is it gonna load it or not? Good lord, I guess not. Um, interactive radar. That's not what I wanted. I hate interactive radar and you didn't load it. Okay. Okay, I guess it is. Oh, Black Friday deal is up to 60%. I don't care about 
Okay, yeah, no, no, that's not what I wanted. Um, future cast. I don't care about past. I want future. Yep, no rain at all. So I wonder what that was. Okay, then that's just weird. Maybe it was the fluorescent bulbs. Could have been. They've not been changed like ever. Since I moved in eight years ago. That could have been what it was. I think we're good. I'm gonna keep going. Alright, yeah, so we're now I'm good. There's no rain anywhere near me at all. Um, yeah, I'll take that. I found a pile of poop. Just like everything else in this world is a pile of poop. Um, I'm pressing the button, it's not doing it. And I don't think that's how that works, but whatever. Nice cozy lawn chair, why not? Is <laughs> it this home with me? Make it mine. <laughs> This is my cave and my cave accessories. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, what? My gun went away. What? Hold on, no. Where's my gun go? I'm not gonna question that. Creation engine at its finest work. <laughs> Creation engine at its finest. I'm not gonna question it. This is, there's no point. Yeah, no. This is an occupied cave. Okay. Okay. Um, let's just, you know, do this. And then let's do this. Because it's an anti-personnel gun. That's not blow upable. Okay, I see you now. I see how you are. Okay, okay, I see how you are. And I'll, I'll take that, sure. I'll take that. <laughs> I'll take that as well. And I will use what I just got as well. Because, yes. Shotgun shells. I cannot wait to change my shotgun over to, um, over to slugs because, yes. But I need to do certain things for that first. So much for us being an occupied cave. Good lord, dude. What is all this crap? Huh. I can't see nothing down here. There we go. Yeah, this cave is not occupied at all. Yeah, this, this is not occupied. There's no one here. Antiseptic. That lowers my armor. I'd rather not. I'll just take it all though, who cares, whatever. It is what it is. Vacuum tape. So if this is an occupied cave, where is everyone? 
Because I would not consider this occupied at all. Like, there's no one here. Unless they're further up. Ice deposit. I don't think we need ice. I don't think we need ice. Yeah, no, there's no one here. Like, yeah, no, it's abandoned. So why is it calling it an occupied cave? I mean, some crud chips, sure, man. What did I just pick up? I don't know what I just picked up. Oh, symbol game mat. I don't need you. I don't need symbol, or so I say chess. It's basically chess. Yeah, there's, a, there's no one here. I mean, sure, there's stuff in here, but it's not occupied. Unless they're out doing a run or something right now, which is possible. But there's no one here. <clears throat> hmm. Is this real? Oh my god, it is real. Holy crap. Yeah, so this was basically a bust. A very big bust. Yeah, occupied cave. Occupied means that there's people here, not just items here. And there's no one here. So, yeah, no, that was just a waste of my time. Well, I guess we'll go back to the ship then, because wherever. Time to get this ship moving. All right. I guess we could go do. Yeah, I think I want to go do that actually. Ready for takeoff in three, two, one, go! Let's go do that and see what happens. No, oh, are you? No, you're not. Um, let's see here. Let's go turn into iron. Um, do I have a quest marker for that? I don't know if I do or not. Hold up. Um, it was where Cassiopeia is a request marker for it. I don't think it gave me a quest marker. No, it did not. Okay, fair enough. So I need to f f find Cassiopeia. Edta Castle Cassiopeia. And they go here. Yep, Cassiopeia one. Was it one or two? I think it was one.
Yes, it was one. Yep, okay, yeah, so they're here. So, of course. See if that ship is still here or not. Don't mind us, just passing through. Need something? Mm, I don't see him anymore. And they said it would be here forever, but I don't see them now. Maybe I was too late, and they got destroyed. Uh, and it's possible. Yeah, I don't see them anymore. Uh, I guess I could try a different planet. Spaceship debris? Was that always there? That could be their ship too, for all I know. Oh, well, if they're not here no more, it is what it is. Who cares? Um, let's just go over to... Nope. No. Why not? Um... Out of fuel range. Okay, so it's four jumps away. Targeting who? Hmm. They're our allies. We can't help them out. <laughs> we can't help them. They're our allies. I gotta do that quest line as well. I apologize for coming over this emergency channel, but we are in need of assistance concerning the large ship in orbit, and we value discretion in this matter. If you are willing and able, please see me as soon as possible at the main security office in Paradiso. Over now. Unidentified ship. That's an old style rocket, isn't it? Yeah, no, it is, isn't it? Yeah. Let's look at look at how it's designed. It's an old style rocket. I might regret this. Uh, 
That's why we save here. That was fun. Now what? Oh yeah, this is definitely old school. <laughs> this is definitely old school. <laughs> Way old school. Remain past your human. It's just that we weren't expecting to find life, let alone human life out here. We thought we were the only ones to leave Earth. Imagine being cut off from humankind for that long. How terribly frightening that would be. Perhaps we should greet our guests. Of course. Manners. I'm Captain Diana Brackenridge. This is Security Officer Bomani Reader. Hmm. And this is Dr. Mabuti da Costa, one of our elders. A pleasure to meet you. You've come aboard the Earth colony ship, Constant. Generations ago, we set forth from the planet Earth with the mission of colonizing a new habitable world, in the spirit of our ancestors nearly a millennium ago. I see. As you may have presumed, we're in a bit of a bind. Our ship has finally completed its near 200 year journey from Earth, only to find our new home seemingly colonized by, well, we don't know. Communications haven't been successful, so your arrival is fortuitous. Perhaps you'd be willing to act as a middle person between ourselves and the others. Of course, we know that now. Human or not, we were still unable to communicate our intentions. As soon as we discovered them, we fully expected negotiations would be necessary. Now then, please follow me. There's much to discuss first. We'll speak more on the matter once we reach the bridge. Dr. DaCosta, you may return to your quarters if you wish. Thank you, Captain. <coughs> I will follow you to the bridge, ma'am. For security purposes. I do not believe we have need to fear our guest, but I'll allow it if you insist. Never seen a ship like yours before. Well, then again, I haven't seen any. Welcome ships to you the arrive. Earth colony ship Constant. In the early 2100s, my ancestor Rupert Brackenridge researched a number of scientific scenarios: climate change, asteroid impact, nuclear war, global pandemic, and more. Each scenario showed the likelihood of an extinction level event to be within 50 years. He fully believed Earth was there. destined to be rendered uninhabitable. Be We've always assumed out. that's what happened. So, he gathered the best and brightest he could find, built the constant, and set a course for this planet here. We were told that it was the largest, most advanced ship ever constructed on Earth at the time. If you can believe, entire generations have been born, lived, and died on this ship. Just because it really goes to show that there are no limits to human ingenuity and perseverance. Ship office. The constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change that. Careful waving that fancy gun around. We don't I have to say, with technology this outdated, I'm amazed so, this vessel is able to navigate at all. It's almost like walking through a museum. Mm-hmm. Anyone would be out we here, but I'm glad for it. Mm, difficult is the wrong word. It can be both challenging at times and also exciting. Our mission was to rebuild humanity on a distant world, believing that we were Earth's last hope. To think that while there has always been a Brackenridge in the captain's chair, that I am the one to finally oversee our journey's end is truly exhilarating. But with this stumbling block in our path, at this final moment, I fear tough choices will need to be made. Well, 
As I mentioned, we've been unsuccessful in communications with anyone up until you arrived, though not for lack of trying. But since you're asking, maybe you'd be willing to be a sort of diplomat between us and them as we attempt to resolve our situation. Does that sound agreeable to you? We suspect that our equipment is woefully obsolete compared to whatever you all have now. In all honesty, we never expected to need to communicate with anyone, so our comms aren't particularly robust. That limits our options. We even attempted communicating with lights and sounds, something we saw in an old movie, but I don't believe they picked up on it. If anything, it may have inadvertently alarmed them. We know there's a settlement on the planet below, meaning people were here before us. You see, we intended to settle here, but we assume that they intend to defend their claim given their presence here. We'd like you to go speak to them on our behalf and help us negotiate a solution, preferably one that favors us. Yes, yes, of course. But we need to start from a firm position and state our goal. If need be, we can compromise, work out a mutually beneficial deal or some such, but initially I'd like you to be firm with them and convince them to leave the planet to us. Let me know how they respond, and we'll go from there. We thought about it, but it simply won't do. I need to think about the distant future of our people. Sure, our first settlement may be small, but our predecessors dreamt of our new civilization spreading across the globe. That will be difficult if someone else plans to do the same. While we're not completely close to the idea of sharing, it's much easier if we have complete domain over this world. I'm serious. We have a rightful claim to this land, and I intend to fight for it. But as you're currently our only hope, perhaps you'll honor my request and give it your all. For the sake of some very weary travelers who have come a very long way to be here. Thank you. Hmm. Speak with Chief. We were never trained to address Sugi threats Alma. coming from outside our ship. Hmm. Nice, they have a hydroponics bay. Nope, wrong way. And these are exciting times, aren't they? I went the wrong way because I'm silly as a goofball. Thanks, clairvoyance. You mean a lot to me, I guess. And then you go away because you are limited on what you do. We've got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. Okay. Good to be back on board. I mean, the captain herself could have come with us as like a, What's new? you know, diplomat. Things. 
Alright. Talk As to we her one ending, I picked up a message from Aja. She said to meet us at the park overlooking the ocean. Before we go to the ceremony. I want you to look me in the eyes and tell me this is exactly what you want. I don't know. I suppose I'm worried that I'm forcing you down a path you don't want to travel. Yeah, I know. It's stupid. But you've done so much for me already. I almost feel like you'd marry me just to make me happy. Despite your own feelings. Nah. I just want to see if we're able to have children or not in this game, because you never know. Ah, oh, I just melt when I hear you say things like that to me. I love you. Melt? And I'm forever thankful <laughs> to have someone Where? as amazing as you in my life. Now come on, Aja is waiting for us. But first, we should probably say something to my mother. Where are you melting at? I don't see a puddle. <laughs> I don't see no wet spots anywhere. <laughs> I don't. Um, let's try to do this one before we go do the wedding ceremony, because who knows how long that will take. Employees only. Oh, really? About us. We're just here to keep the peace. Ha <laughs> ha. And blow is only my butt. Welcome to Paradiso. Jiro Sugiyama at your service. Do you have a security concern, or is there something else I can help you with? Neither. We're our own private force. The Paradiso Group pays top dollar for top-notch security. And I dare say we're some of the best in the business. We have to be out here on the fringes of the settled systems. Something I can help you with? Oh, it has a name. Good. Then you're already familiar with the situation, I take it. Do you know what they want? Interesting. We obviously have no records of a colony ship claiming this planet. Whatever the case, you'll need to speak with Oliver Campbell. The CEO for the Paradiso Group. He's in charge of bringing all formal decisions before the board and helping to make calls on them. I'll let him know you're on your way. Mm-hmm. Paradiso. And they want to take over this planet and lay claim to it and basically make it to where they roll this planet. Well, good luck with that one. These guys have security and... They're trained, you guys are not. And their guns are a lot better. And so is mine. <laughs> Holy! Holy! Ah, that makes sense. <laughs> That's where they're going. This is probably the best vacation I've ever taken. There's really now? <laughs> I, 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 I do approve of the, um... Not to be a downer, but this place is almost too perfect, right? <coughs> Come here for a little I do approve of the swimsuits. Me too. <laughs> Todd, you know how to make a man happy. <laughs> it's my pleasure to make sure our guests... Oh, this looks like a lovely place for a stay. Might also be the perfect time to stop mm, for damn. some food or a tranquility. Where should we begin? Cappuccino. Oh, lattes. Ooh, classic black tea. Gross. 
Gross. If I could just stay here forever, I would. To just move here. I mean, come on now. Like, this place is. I could figure out the secret to that new drink. I might need to enlist outside help. Well, I mean, we're here. Why not? Sorry. Didn't mean to be rude and ignore you when you came in. I'm just trying to figure out the solution to a problem I'm having. What can I do for you? Yeah, I would like to order a drink. Sure. What will you be having today? Bullet car. Why is it in? I mean, it is the future, I guess. Chunks pie. Chunks potato. <laughs> Espresso latte. I uh, can't get flavored lattes. Oh, that's just lame because I wanted a freaking Jacques Have Cousteau. Uh -oh, I, 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 Sorry, I, lose track of the time. I wanted a Jacques Cousteau, Our man. Drinks are terrific. Matter of fact, I am. You keep losing business to tranquility. It seems like they're always trying new things, new recipes. And well, we just have the same old coffee here. I have an idea, but I don't know if I have the skills to pull it off. Well, I mean... A tea sommelier from Tranquility Corporate is on vacation here. I overheard them talking to Polly about some new tea product they're working on. If you could convince them, or otherwise get the recipe, before it goes to market, I'm sure it will help me succeed. Maybe I can even move up the corporate ladder. Ah. Uh, I hope so. This could be the big break I'm looking for. Sure, we can do that, I guess. I mean, it's probably not worth the experience. Oh, you saw guns and guns Welcome accessories. Welcome to Paradiso gift shop and convenience. Feel free to look around, but don't break anything or you've got to buy it. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to aggle with me. Aggle? Aggle? Okay. That was, that was a, okay. Yes, that's what I'm here. She does not seem too enthused about doing her job. Ass. Ass ass in. Well, I found a big bang, guys. It does exist. It did happen. Nice. This is how the universe was made. Right here. This gun. There ain't nothing here I want. Cool. Ammo. Do I need ammo? I mean, what guns do I have? Uh, oh, they don't have enough money for that. <laughs> I'm just going to sell this thing, honestly, because it's not worth having right now. Or I might... Or, no. I could just give it to her. Yeah, I might just give it to her instead of selling it. So I need... More... 15 by 25 cells... And then more 11 millimeter. And I don't need this. <laughs> I don't need that. I don't need that either. No. Okay, so 11 millimeter. Bye. And <laughs> that was eight grand. Nice. <laughs> Three grand. Excellent. Don't matter if I do. And then I will go sell. Uh, no, not that one. Yeah, no. Uh, oh yeah, I can sell this crap, can't I? Uh, I mean, persuasion chance. Eh, who cares?
I can't believe it's not butter. They don't have any med packs. Interesting. Oh yeah, I need, um, what? Tungsten and, um, something else? Tungsten, I'll buy. And then I needed, what else? I needed, um, something that was a textile, right? I need a textile, I think. Right? Textile. 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 I needed a textile, I think, right? What counts as a textile, though? Luxury textile. I mean, do I need this? I mean, I might as well just, you know, pick it up, because in case I need it. Memory substrate. I would consider that a textile, but I don't know if it is or not. Oh, it doesn't say. Ornamental material. Pigment. Um, yeah, I don't know what counts as a textile. Have fun out there. You'd think we'd be a prime target for pirates, but they know how to stay away. Hmm. That's something I'll have to look into, I guess. Hey. Hope you're enjoying yourself. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Sure. Have fun in the shark tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. I just feel that we should be focusing on the lucky natural I'm not like the other board planet. members. Flies about amenities. the beaches without a care in the universe. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all-inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given the circumstances, I'm gonna cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> ah, we're being direct then. Good on you. <laughs> so, what do you know about this dodgy ship I'm hearing all about? Well... That's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do.
We own this planet, they don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they may come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No, much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Mm. Yeah, he's probably right. Of course, because you're sensible, like me. I'll be honest, I was beginning to think you were one of those anti-business types. People are hardy. They'll survive. Businesses, on the other hand, might not. Oh, I need to say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> it's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grave drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. I'm not suggesting anything other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. We operate outside of the Free Stars and the UC, partially because we don't want anyone else meddling in our affairs. And we'd rather not draw attention to it, as I've mentioned. It could be bad for business. We'd much rather settle this independently. I'll have them stay. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter's official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Right. Assuming they agree to the terms, I've got a list of resources you'll need to gather and bring back so we can support the new arrivals. We'll need to improve our lodging and infrastructure, plus account for future projects to support an increased population. Don't care how you procure them, just make sure to bring them here with you before we can consider this a done deal. Oh, how can we treat these people this way? They survived in space this long, only to end up as indentured servants. Oh, it's terrible. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, <laughs> it's the only thing. So what list did, did we get? It's not there, it should be here. Resource list, 40 fiber, 80 iron, 20 sealant, and 10 lithium. Okay. Fiber. We need more of this, and then what else? Uh, where is it? Um, list. So 40 fiber, 20 sealant, 80 iron, and 10 lithium. Do we have lithium on us? No, we don't. I need more iron, I need more fiber. Who so I can just buy all this stuff, honestly. Okay, cool. Really got to offer. <coughs> I mean, yeah, it sucks that they're going to be indentured servants, but at least they'll have housing and, and something to do. 
They won't be stranded in space anymore. Alright, so let's go, um, where was the store again? Oh yeah, over here. No. Oh no, that's the cosmetic crap. Who cares about that crap? Oh, I got sand in my shoes again. Oh, Paradiso is absolutely beautiful. Can you possibly imagine a more tranquil place? Uh, no. Okay, never mind then. Cool. Nope, that's not where I wanted to go, I don't think. I want to find the store. Surface map. Okay, so there's not a... Let's do this then. There we go. Yeah. Now it's taking me the right way. Okay, cool. This should lead me to some other stores. What is this one? Nope, that's not the one I want. Ah, oh, yeah. It's in here, isn't it? No one's going to care. Yeah. I passed it. We've I got can stuff. Get. Honor at me if you. Mm -hmm. All right, so I need. What was it again? Hold on, let me double check. Let me double check. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Wrong one, game. Okay, so notes. This one, forty fiber. Okay, I'll go ahead and do that now. Thank. Oh, hey. Okay. So I need fiber, 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 fiber. Is polymer fiber? I don't know. Um, nothing here is marked as fiber. Ah, there's some fiber. Not enough though. Um, I can always go kill some animals, I guess. Um, I need some more iron. Iron is up here. Not enough. I'll have to go get some more. Whatever. Or I can... No, I, I can just do that thing. Yeah, I can just... Okay, hold up now. There you go. Um. Um, sealant, right? I need some sealant. So fiber, sealant, lithium. Do I have enough... I need three more. Okay. Do I have any on my ship? I might have some on my ship. I could go to my ship. Need something. Looking for it. So I need some sealant. Sealant, 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 sealant. Not enough, but I'll take it anyway. And then lithium. That's all that I need of that, I think, right? There you go. Um. Yes, I need 20 of that, 40 of this, and 80 iron. So I'm almost done. <clears throat> all right, so I, I will I do this, and I will just wait. Wait for a couple of days and then buy some more and then we'll go from there. And then just do it again until we get enough.
All right. This is even better than in the brochure. Okay, first off, how can my guy even see through that? I'm just pointing it out right now. Ugh, can't wait to get. We've got stuff. Okay, I want to look for some. It did not restock. Okay, well, we got to do it again then. Okay. Thanks for shopping. Oh, I mean, I'm encumbered. Oh, joy. Joy. I'm encumbered. We gotta do another day. <laughs> this will take a while, but it's worth it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and put a cut here, and I will come back whenever I get all this crap done. Well, purchased. How about that? Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do.